do you think about this? Democratic Senator Barbara Boxer making an unusual comparison while talking about Republican lawmakers and the shutdown. When you start acting like you're committing domestic abuse, you've got a problem. I love you, dear, but, you know, I'm shutting down your entire government. I love you, dear, but I'm going to default and you're going to be weak. Republican Congressman Aaron Schacht joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Good to be with you, Greta. So, um, I guess you are being compared to a spousal abuser. Wow. Uh, you know, I think our constituents expect better than that. I think we've had enough name calling uh, in Washington, D.C., and I think what they expect us to do is to solve these problems. And as far as abuse or uh, poor decision making, I can't imagine anything more detrimental uh, to the current generation and the next generation. Uh, than the Democrats refusal to deal with our debt and that's really simply all the House Republicans are asking of the president is to agree to negotiate agree to come to the table and I'm very disappointed that Thursday night he told the American people he was going to negotiate and 24 hours later uh, he called off the deal well, to negotiate. Well there seems to be some sort of deal being negotiated there of course the meeting at the White House was called off but he's met with leaders he intends to meet with them he said but, but because there's a deal being uh, drafted in the Senate now you're in the House but uh, sure. what do you think about this deal at least we're feeling, hearing little bits and pieces out of the Senate. Well a couple of things first of all we're only in the Senate Republicans with all due respect are only relevant I would argue because we have a House majority. Uh, and the reason that the president called off the deal or called off negotiating with House leadership is clearly because he thinks he can get a better deal from the Senate. So uh, I said over the weekend it's time for the Senate, to, Senate Republicans to grow a backbone, to join the House Republicans uh, and not sell out on anything short of a deal with the president to, de to deal with long-term spending. I don't think we're going to solve the budget in 10 years like the House has proposed, but certainly the Senate's proposal, which never balances, their budget never balances, uh, isn't fair to the American people. Well, do you expect that this deal that we at least understand is coming out of the Senate, which would be raise a debt ceiling to mid-February uh, and fund the government to about mid-January, is that one likely to be attractive to the um, House Republicans, all the House Republicans, I guess I should say, and if not, I mean, will, um, will the Democrats, be, will there are enough Democrats to peel off to compensate for those who are opposed to it within the Republican Party? Yeah. I'm not a Democrat whip. I'm a Republican whip, so I'm not going to purport to know what my Democrat colleagues are going to do. But I will tell you the Republicans in the House are more united than I've ever seen in the five years I've been in Congress. Does that mean you, you're less likely to lose a Republican to this uh, to this when it comes over from the Senate? Well, it's hard to judge a deal until you see the specifics. But, from what but you hear. simply a raising of the debt limit, an opening of the government with no uh, structural reforms in spending. Um, I, for one, will not be voting for, and I, I, can, I would venture to guess that the lion's share of Republicans uh, would vote against that measure as well. We want to know that the president is serious about making good on his campaign pledge, which is he was going to deal uh, with bringing down our debt. And you remember what he said, Greta. He said, if only the wealthiest of Americans would pay their fair share, we could finally deal with our nation's debt. And you know what? In January, the wealthiest of Americans took it in the, in the shorts. The taxes went up. The president got $600 billion this year now in new tax revenue. And we're still waiting for the cuts in spending. It's time for the president to deliver on that promise. Congressman, thank you. We'll be watching this, of course. There's a lot to watch on Good Capitol to be with Hill you. these days. Nice to see you, sir. And up next,